and the Vedic Reader for Students by Arthur A. McDonald. Funeral Hymn. The Rig Veda contains a group of five hymns, 10, 14 to 18, concerned with death and the future life. From them, we learned that, though burial was also practiced, cremation was the usual method of disposing of the dead. It was the main source of the mythology relating to the future life. Agni conveys the corpse to the other world, the fathers and the entities. He is besought to preserve the body intact and to burn the goat, which is sacrificed as his portion. During the process of cremation, Agni and Soma are besought to heal any injury that bird, beast, ant, or serpent may have inflicted on the body. Well, whether it's being buried or cremated, um, obviously we're talking there's a body that's not a physical body. That would be healed upon its afterlife. Or... The way to the heavenly world is a distant path on which Sivitar 135 conducts and Pushan 654 protects the dead. Before the pyre is lighted, the wife of the dead man, having lain beside him, arises, and his bow is taken from his hand. This indicates that in earlier times his widow and his weapons were burnt with the body of the husband. Passing along by the path trodden by the fathers, the spirit of the dead man goes to the realm of light and meets with the fathers who revel with Yama in the highest heaven. Here, uniting with a glorious body, he enters upon a life of bliss, which is free from imperfections and bodily frailties, in which all desires are fulfilled, and which is passed among the entities, especially in the presence of the two kings, Yama and Varuna. And 10.14 Nitur Trishtubba 13, 14, 16, Anoshtub, 15, Brhati. Just like with the last one, we had meter three, uh, uh, you know, 848 and meter Trishtub by Majigati. Okay. Um, one. Parayevam sam pravato mahir hanu bahu vyah pandam manu pas pas anam vaivas vatam sam steeps and has spied out the path of many. Him, the son of Vivasvant, the assembler of people. Yama, the king, do thou present with oblation. Ah, as in Jagati, see page 445, F and 7. Pare Yivamsam, Puff Put act yiv um sum eighty nine a of I go with para away pravatas the steep paths leading to the highest heaven where Yama dwells sep nine hundred thirteen eight yatra or ja va iv asvato yatra Varu Vanam Diva Some words not included here Tatra Mam Amratam Kurde where the king, the sons of the Vasvant, and where the secret place of heaven is. There do thou, Soma, make me immortal. Mahis 
case a pull th uh, of ma great pan thon ninety seven to a va iv as vatam yama is in several passages called by this patronymic sif also five e and ten seventeen one Yamasya mata paryu yamana maho jaya vivasvata the mother of yama being married as the wife of the great vivasvant bahu bias for the many that die and go to the other world anu pas pas anam pup put ah whatever case with the line of her of spas c some gamanam as gathering the dead together in his abode, Ranjangnam, Yama is several times called a king, but never expressly a god. Devasya, addressed to the sacrificer now. Deva and god aren't the same term, so maybe that's what they mean. Two. Yamo no gatum pratamo vivera na ishaga vutir apabartava uyatra na purve petara pare yur Yama has first found out the way for us. This pasture is not to be taken away. Whether our former fathers have passed away thither, those that have been born since pass away along their several paths. Yamas A explains what is said of Yama in the preceding stanza. Viveda, puff of second vid, find Gavutis, used figuratively to express the abode which Yama has found for those who die. Apa Bartavae, dative inf, with the double accent, page 452, 7. Here it's a passive force with page 335. A. B is most naturally be taken as forming a hemistitch, with A not as beginning a new sentence. Antecedent to Yatra, the exact sense of Sud is uncertain owing to a doubtful interpretation of N A and Judge Nanas. The former word is probably correlative to Yatra and Judge Nanas. The frequent puff puts of A ah, John generate. So, Janaas, the extra of that, it might be from Jna, no, from which, however, this put does not seem to occur elsewhere. The meaning would then be knowing the way, thereby, and na, because Yama found it for them. Savas, by their own paths, each by his own, each going by himself. Now there's the thought, of course, that um, not only the meaning or a light being of related to death or something like this, but it's thought that maybe um, the whole Yama thing was a divination of a hero that survived a great event of people dying, notably a global flood, that if you went up high, that you survived it. Um, Each by going from from south three, Matali Kavya Yer Yamo Angiro Bir Berhas Patir Rukva Vir Vrenda Nah Yam Chadeva Vrendur Yachadevan. Svaha Anya Svavayanya Marante Matali, having grown strong with the uh, Kavyas, 
Yama with the Angir Ases, Berhaspate with the Burkbans, whom the light beings have made strong, and who have made strong. The entities, some rejoice in the call of Savaha, others in the offering to the dead. Had made strong as right before the light beings, as the la you know the last mention, you know because Deva Devon was mentioned. Um, that's in parentheses. So having made strong, Matali mentioned only here, one of the seven mm stems in E one hundred one B. Sayana thinks this means Indra because that entity's charioteer in later times is Matale, and therefore Matali, the noun of Matalin, is he who is accompanied by Matali, but in the accent of words is invariably on that syllable, page 454, uppercase B, uppercase A, Kavya'is. The name of a group of ancestors that inst used in the associative sense 199 a one Angirubes. Another group of ancestors otherwise associated with Brhaspate, who exclusively is called Angrasa Rikvabis, another group of ancestors, Sapsa Rikvata Ganena. He, Brhaspate, with the singing host, 455. Ganana. Vavrvanas, by means of ablations. Yamscha, the ancestors whom the entities strengthened by their aid and who strengthened the entities with their offering. Svaha, Anya, some by their association with the entities rejoice in the call. Savaha, which is addressed to the entities, others in the funeral oblations offered to them as ancestors. Madante with inst 308 1c. And let me interject with the abbreviations, which should have been all spelled out rather than expecting us to turn to them. Four. Imam Yama Prastaram Mahe Sidan Girobe Peturbe Sambedana Atva Mantra Kavis Asta Vahantu Enna Rajan Avashamadayasva Upon this strewn grass O Yama, pray seat thyself, uniting thyself with the Angirasas, the fathers. Let the spells recited by the seers bring thee hither. Do thou, O king, rejoice in this oblation. Ah, Sita. Second S imp of the facade sit with uh, W Ak he, page two hundred and fifty two to set page four hundred and sixty seven Ace B opposition to Ngerobis Sep three A Sum Vindanas per put uh second vid find according to the root class out of fifty eight a A Kabe Sa Stas on the accent sip page four hundred and fifty six two A and page four hundred and sixty two F and four and Na here sip two D instead of Anna one hundred and twelve A agreeing with Havisha accented because you know the last A being Havisha being accented because being Beginning to pata and always in an adverb, sep to d madayavsva with the inst sep madanta in three d. 
life. Anagiero viera gahe yajnye ye vir yama vaye rupayer e hamadayasva devasvantam huve yah peta te asmin yajnye bar heshe anishadya. With the adorable and Garasas, O Yama, with the sons of Virupa, do thou here rejoice. I call Vasvant, who is thy father, let him rejoice, having sat himself down on the strew at this sacrifice. And Girobis, Sociative Instive, uh, 199, page 1, Agahe. Brut Ao Ipav of Gum, 148.5. The Irupais, associative inst, this patronymic form occurs only here. Virupa occurs once in the singular as the name of one who praised Agni, 8.64.6. And three times in the Pul as seers closely connected with the Engrasis as sons of heaven are of. Uh, Angiras, Juve, one S per A of Hu, call, Yas, supply. As te, A is defected by one syllable, page 441 for uppercase B, A, for Heshe, A, to be taken together, Sep 176, one, two, Nish, Adya, Gud, of Sad, Sit, agreeing with Vesvantam, Sep 210. It is not the priest who sits down on the strew. But the entity D occurs in 3, 35, 6, as applied to Indra, 6. Angiraso, na petaro na vagva atharvano brgava someasa tasham vayam sumatau yajnyayanam Ape vadre saumana se seama. The Angirasis, our fathers, the Navagvas, the Atharvans, the Burgus, the Soma loving, we would abide in the favor, the good graces of them, the adorable ones. Nah, Pitara, in opposition to the names, set for B. Navagvas, and so on, the names of ancient priestly families. Now that's the thing that makes a whole a, a question, that, you know, you know they, that they list the priestly families and all that sort of stuff. Um, but they do that in the Bible and stuff like this, but the part that sounds like it may have been revealed or directly inspired, you don't see this, oh, and I'm from this family, and all, all, that, all that stuff. Um, Certainly in memorials of events, but you know, not. Ape um, to be taken together as Ape as to take apart. Seven. Prehe, prehe, pathe, vih, purve, vir, yatra, na, purve, petara, pare, yuk, uva, rajana. Svalaya Maranta Yamam Pasya Se Varunam Jareva By those ancient paths on which our fathers of old have passed away, thou shalt see both kings for Jesus. In the offering to the dead, Yama and Varuna entity. Prahe, Prahe, addressed to the dead man. Note that this repeated verb is not to be treated as Amradita. In fact, only one repeated verbal form is so treated of in the Rigveda. These Piba, Piba, page 200.
82 G of the remarkable alliteration in A B set the repetition of A and C um and D of A and 5 C D of AU in 10 through 12 Purve pronoun adjective page 216 Rajana, note that both Yama and Varuna are called kings, but Varuna alone as a god. Well, the word's Devi, right? Um, so not the same thing. Sept the note on 1D, Savadaya, Sept 3D, Pathyasa, second S per sub of Path, C, Sept 353. And let us remember, uh, you know, I don't intend be worshipping any of these like things or carvings or whatever. Um and I when I connect to the memory, the legacy and the energy, I am not, you know, worshipping the dead. I'm not addressing it in prayer. Praying for it sometimes, praying in regard to it, to that, but not, you know, Oh, dead person or whatever. That's that's not my intention at all. Eight. Samgachaspa pitarbe samyamena. Ishta purtena tarame veoman. Hit Vaya Vadyam Kunarastam Ahesam Gachasuva Tanuva Suvar Cha. I only intended the ending there and the third. So, unite with the fathers, unite with Yama with the reward of thy sacrifices and good works in the highest heaven. Leaving blemish behind, go back to thy home. Unite with thy body, full of vigor. Ashta, Kurtena, note that this old Devandva, said, see the vocabulary, is not analyzed in the Pada text. Parama, the abode of Yama and the fathers, is in the highest heaven. Madhya, Deva, in 10, 15, 14, Oman, locative without I, page 69. Het Vaya, 163, 3. Astam, the home of the fathers, except 9B to D. Tanva, Suvarcha, being free from disease and frailties, the dead man unites with the body, which is complete without imperfections. The Avesta often speaks of such being the state of things in the next life. Indeed, the rare resolution of V in Sava is required. 9. Apeta vita vecha sarpatato asma etam tetaro lokam akrana ho vir advir actu vir ve actam yamo dandate avasanam asma et. Be gone, disperse, slink off from here. For him, the fathers have prepared this place. Yama gives him a resting place distinguished by days and waters and nights. The stanza is addressed to the demons to leave the dead man alone. Vita for Vita, see page 464, 17, 1a. Asma e accented because emphatic at the beginning of a pata, but unaccented at the end of D, page 452, uppercase A, lowercase C. Akron, third pull, act root, a orist, a Kar make a hobeer at the sept nine hundred thirteen where the joys of the next world are described. Yatra, Jotir, Jasram, Tasman, Mum, Dvehe, Imrte, Loke, where there is eternal light in that immortal world. Place me. Yatra jote jasram tasmim mam vehe amrte loke. And Yatra amur yavatir apas tat 
Sharamam, mam, mam, Where are those swift waters? There, make me immortal. Aktubis, nights is alternating with days. Yaktam, pep, of ve, and anj, adorn, distinguish, ten. Atedrava sarem yau suanau chaturakshau savalau saduna patha atha petram suvedatram Upehe yamena yesavim maram maran Run by a good path. Run by a good path past two sons of Sarama, the four eyed. Brindled dogs then approach the bountiful fathers who rejoice at the same feast as Yama. There's that dog that they have people look at, at funerals and Iranian weddings. And I don't mean modern Iranian, I mean ancient Iranian. Um, well, I guess some modern ones too. So if you see a dog at a funeral, that's one of the carry-ons, right? Sarameyahu. Sarameyahu. In this, the following duels, including 11 A B. The ending Au is regularly used. In the old parts of the Rig Veda, A is employed before the consonants and at the end of Apada. Savanau is to be read as a trisyllable, except in 91.3. Chitur Akshau, that thusly meant to imply keen sight. Thus, this epithet is also applied to Agne. In the Avesta, a four eyed dog watches at the head of a bridge by which the souls of the dead pass to the other world and scares away the fiend from the holy ones. B as is a Jagati, set page 445, F in 7. Atha, the second symbol, metrically lengthened. Yamina, associative inst, page 306, 1. Sava, madam, cognitive act of Madanti, Page 304. Eleven. Yau te suana u yama raksheta ra sa u ta ve amnam pare de he rajan svaste chasma anam ivam cha ve he give him over to these two o king that are thy dogs o yama the guardians for eyed watchers of the path observers of men bestow on him welfare and help yau au in this and following the duels for a uh, as in ten, ber cha sha sa'u as Yama's messengers, ber cha sha sa'u sep 12b, b is a jagati, sep 10b, anam, the dead man, the hair, second s, imp of da, give, that they may guide him to Yama's abode. The hair, second S, epiv of the put. Twelve. Uruna sava sutapa udambala u yamasya duta u charato janam anutavasma yam. Drsaya Suraya Punardatam Masum Avyaha Vadram. Broad nose, life stealing, the two as messengers of Yama wander among men. May these two give us back here today auspicious life, and we may see the sun. Uru. Hmm. 
nas au. The second syllable is metrically lengthened. You know, the u rather than the third u. On the cerebralization of the dental n c. You know, n instead of un instead of un. Um, C65B. Here we have the normal use of ow as av before a vowel with an apada, a broad nose that is keen scented. Asutripa, u on the sunda. C22, the literal meaning delighting in lies implies delighting in taking them while they wander among men as yamas, messengers. Udum. Bala'u, this word occurs here only, and there is no means of throwing any light on its sense. The au of this duel as of du ta'u for a shows the same irregularity as in the preceding stanzas. Shiratas, in order to seek out the lives of those about to go to the abode of Yama, asma yam, that of plural of aham, that are saya, that of imp, with attracted accents. 200, uppercase B, 4, the tam, third, du, ipav, root, a orist of da, give, as having already marked us, are the victims. Let them give back our life today. 13, yamaya so mam sunuta, yamaya juhuta have. Yamam ha yajno gachate agne duto aram krta. For Yama, press the soma to Yama, offer the relation. Yama goes to sacrifice well prepared with agne as its messenger. To huta with metrically lengthened final vowel, second plural, ipif of who sacrifice addressed to those officiating at the sacrifice. Imam of the goal, 197, 1, 204, 1b. Agnadutas, the idea underlying the figurative expression is that the smoke of the sacrificial fire goes up to heaven where the for Yama dwells. Imaya, Grantabad, Lavir, Juhota, Kracha, Tish, Tata, Sa, No, Ibetshu, A, Imad, Nirgan, the yuh pra jivasa. Yama offered this ablation, but nothing in the D. And step forth, may he guide us to the light beings that we may live a long life. Yama yagarta vanda virjuota pracha tishtata. Sano deveshuayam mandir ram ayu prajivasa. Yuhota, the irregular strong form, page 144, uppercase B, 3A, with a long vowel in the second syllable, is here utilized for metrical purposes. As the regular form, Yuhota, as its final vowel lengthened in 13b, pra tishtata, step forward in order to offer the ablations, so that the use of pra brr, bring forward an ablation, a uh, yamat, end of root, a uh, o oh, of yam, extend, this form constitutes a play on the name of yama, nas, accented, governed by a, uh, yamad, sep 9, 44, 5, sa, nah, somo, Veshu, uh, Yamat, may he, Soma, guide us to the light beings on the Lok, Sep 204, B1B, a use, Cognate, Ak, 197, A4, Pra, Jivasa, Sep, page 463, and 8, the meaning of Sin is, may he keep us, the survivors, to the worship of the entities and not lead us to the fathers. You know, in parentheses, so that we may enjoy long life on earth. Sip 12 C B 15. Yamaya madumatamam 
Rajnyahavyam juhotana idam namarshabhya purvajabhyah purvavyah pathikrbhyah. To Yama, the king offered most honeyed ablation. This obeisance is for the seers, both of old, the ancient makers, and the path. Um, that last word's quite difficult. Juhotana, again, the strong form. The suit, the meter, 14b. Pathic rudbyas, because they were the first, after Yama had shown the way to tread the path leading to Yama's abode, the Pitra Yamna, the road of the fathers. The stanza is a brhati in the middle of Anustubhas, differing from them only by the addition of four syllables in the third pada. 16. Treka drukebe. Patate shall revere come in Burnhat Krishpum Gayatri Chandam se Sarvatayama Ahita. It flies through the three Samavats, the six earths, the one great world, Krishpum. Gayatri and the other meters, all these are placed in Yama world, and the other is not a translation, but a insert the translation. Understandable. So, world and the other. The meaning of AB in this final stanza is obscure partially because the subject is not expressed in A and partially because it is uncertain whether B is syntactically connected with A or not. The probability is that here we have two sentences, one consisting of A, the other of B to D. The first sentence it probably means that the summoned draught is ready for Yama. The second expresses the greatness of Yama by stating that all things are contained in him. Trika drukebdes. This word occurring six times in the Brigveda is always appearing in the plural and always except here in the locative. It is four times directly connected with Soma and once alludes to it. Example, tre Kandrukeshu, Apabat, Sutasya, he drank of the pressed soma into three vessels, 132.3. The term Truka Druka in the ritual of the Brahmanas is the name of the three days in the soma ceremony. The metaphor of flying is applied to the flowing soma compared with the bird as the entity flies like a bird to settle in the vats. 9.3.1. Flying, not yet quite the notion. You know the song, maybe. Um, nine, three, one. The illusion, therefore, seems to be in the soma, which the priests are called upon the press. 13a. Shad Rveh. Shad Rveh. This expression is probably equivalent to the three heavens and three earths. Sep Tisro, Yavah, Nehita. Antar Asman Kisro Wunir Uparah Shadvivana. The three heavens are placed within him, Varuna, and the three earths below, forming a sixfold order. Seven. Eighty-seven. Five. Akam id Burhat. That his expression has probably meant the universe, otherwise spoken of as. Visvam, Akam, Adam, Akam, and so on. The one being depressed with the six. Sep, one, hundred sixty-four, six, Vyas, Tas, Kamba, Shal, Emma, or Dum, Seb, and not everything quoted here. Yim, uh, I mean Kim, Ape, Svid, Akam. Who propped asunder these six spaces? What prey is the one? So, you know, the 
cube. And if you see a cube or a square in mythology, it's often the mental construction of consciousness, because that's how we um, interpret that in our minds, is space through cubes and squares and stuff. Um, Krishtum, Vyatri, these two names and meters are only mentioned in this and the other hymn of the tenth mandala. This and the following four hymns, 10, 15 through 18, are among the latest in the Rig Veda. The concluding stanza here, as in some hymns addressed to other entities, sums up the greatness of the entity by saying that he embraces all things except 1, 32, 15, Indra, verse 13, 6. Okay.